and the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Genesis 3, 7. When illustrating this, my initial insight were of the words, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Okay, so in my mind, I have fig leaves sewn together and I also have aprons. So I'm thinking of fig leaves. They sold fig leaves? Okay, so I myself took sewing classes for years and know that in order to sew two pieces of fabric together, if you don't use a sewing machine, then you need a needle and thread. And I'm thinking in my head, well, they could have made their own needle and spun their own yarn and made their own thread, but this is not the case. I will be getting way too ahead of myself. I don't think this is where the conception of needles and threads started. And I'm asking myself, how could they have made aprons to hide their nakedness out of leaves? So I imagine they used the same branches the fig leaf was attached to already and they could have weaved this, twisted, or knotted those into a certain form, gathering and sewing together enough to cover their shame points. And I did some research and I found out how big these leaves actually are. And I found that they are big enough to hide your hand and still have plenty of room left. This information helped me with drawing the right proportions and also the amount of leaves to use. When you see this illustration, think of Adam and Eve after they disobeyed God by eating of the forbidden fruit. Their actions removed that perfect covering of God's words, stripping themselves of their previous state of holiness. Their eyes were open to know good and evil, suddenly realizing that they are indeed naked. Shame comes and consumes them. And in order to cover their shamefulness, aka sin, they grab fig leaves, they sew them together, and made themselves aprons to gird around their body. In an attempt to cover their sin, Adam and Eve became the first human fashion designers. Their first collection was provoked by sin and inspired by shame. Their garments were embellished with human pride and self-righteousness.